soldier bold and only 25 years old. You are going to be cooking a dish from one of the most technical, revered and refined cuisines. <laughs> French? Don't be stupid. Scottish. I only had five minutes to pick what cookbook I was going to use. I decided to pick a dish from the Café Gandolfi cookbook. I knew that Café Gandolfi held a very special place in the judge's heart. I decided to cook Cullen Skink. It's a very traditional Scottish dish. Derek, it's not your challenge. I'm the cook. No, you're going to screw it up. Oh, stupid. What? I go outside and, oh, oh my God. The gas is out. Then when he come around, he look me up. I decided to do an extra dish. I know it was risky, but I thought I had enough time. I decided to do the judge's mother's shortbread. It's a risky idea, but if I could do a shortbread as good as Derek's mum's, there's no way I would be leaving this competition. It's 300 mils of milk and 300 mils of cream, and we just simmer for another five to 10 minutes until the potatoes are tender. Now I need to get onto the shortbread. Uh, I need to find the recipe. Um, Derek, you're supposed to set. The no, it's not my challenge. No, but it doesn't matter. It's not my challenge. The contestants normally have like the recipes printed out. Yeah, but this is our challenge. This is this is not. This is. <sighs> and it better be decent as well. So everything's going well so far. The thing um, I'm most nervous about is the shortbread. Um, the pressure points for that are uh, I could overcook it. You want it to be golden brown, but you, you don't want it to be burnt. So I need 16 ounces of plain flour. That's all my flour. Okay. Uh, bread and pizza flour. No, that's for the fish, but everything's. I don't. Uh, I mean the yes, the fish, but I don't know what to do because all my times have been uh, put out because that wasn't on before. Uh, I'm feeling a little lost. This is so much better. So much good taste. The shortbread's very easy. You just weigh some flour, butter, sugar. Whack it in the processor. It should probably just come together. And really, away you go. It just does its thing and it comes together in some dough and you just press it into a tray. Easy. Ooh, I think that's ready, that's ready. Okay, I'm going to turn that off. Oh. It looks really good. I, I think this is, I couldn't have wanted that fish to be cooked better. You know, I mean, I don't know how the, the Cullen skink is going to turn out on the whole as a dish, but look at this fish. It has a beautiful smoky flavour. It's so lovely. Once you introduce the fish, you let that cook for about another 10 minutes. It starts to thicken, and that's when you can add some pepper, salt, and also some grated nutmeg. Get your kilts moving! It's time to play the bagpipes! I felt really good about my dish. I thought it looked good on the plate and I had a feeling it was going to taste beautiful as well. But the fate was in the judges' hands. I just had to sit back and see what they had to say. So, Jenny. Yes, Derek. Can you tell me what you have made for me this evening? This is Cullen Skink. It's a traditional Scottish dish uh, made with smoked fish and I picked that from the Café Gandolfi cookbook. Did you experience any um, issues whilst cooking this Cullen Skink? I did run into some trouble when uh, the gas ran out in the camping uh, cooktop I was using. Oh, stupid! What? 
but thankfully I think it all worked out okay and the fish cooked perfectly. Jeannie. Yes, Derek. What type of fish did you use for this meal? Well, I used blue eye. I believe traditional Colin skink should be haddock. Yes, that's true, but it's very difficult to get haddock here. I chose blue eye because it comes from the same family, and I thought that that would still reflect the true spirit of the Scottish dish. Blue eyes in the same family? Yes. For the first time smoking fish, you have done an absolutely incredible job. For the first time making Cullen skink, that's a very different matter. I've eaten Cullen skink in numerous restaurants around the world. I've eaten Cullen skink many times in Cafe Gandolfi in Glasgow. And I really have to tell you, this Colin Skink is an absolute winner. You should be incredibly proud of yourself. You should almost be able to call yourself a master chef of Colin Skink. Very, very well done. Very well done. And this next course that you've made for me, Janie, is what? This is your mum's shortbread. My mother's shortbread. And do you think that your shortbread is going to be as good as my mum's shortbread? I, I really hope so, Derek. I put a lot of effort into it and uh, the same amount of love that your mum puts into her shortbread. You hope so? I hope so too. For your benefit. Short. Incredibly good piece of shortbread. As good as the mother's. No. I would be a fool and insolent to insult my mother by saying that someone else's shortbread was as good. The shortbread comes very close. In my opinion, no other shortbread will ever supersede my mother's. But you have made a very, very valiant effort. And on behalf of Scotland, I would like to say that you would be welcomed with open arms in any household, in any restaurant, Janie. You should be incredibly, incredibly proud of your efforts today. Looking back on today, I just feel a wonderful sense of pride. I feel like I really deserve to be here. I delivered a Cullen skink that the judges said was one of the best he had tasted. And my shortbread, although it didn't live up to Derek's mother's, the judges said it was still pretty close. And I'm happy with that.